So in this video I want to discuss the zero matrix and its use. Um, it really doesn't ever feel like the zero matrix has much use. Um, I mean, after all, you know, in two by two matrix, uh, we will be representing it as well zero 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 zero, and that's it. Okay. I mean, what what does it do? Uh, not a whole lot. Um, what you kind of need to understand is that if you have a matrix, so matrix A, and you add the zero matrix, then you get the original matrix in return, much as you would like a number. One plus zero is one. Okay? And in a similar way, if I subtract, then I also have A. So the zero matrix uh, is, an ident is an identity matrix uh, under addition and subtraction for matrices. So it is the matrix that I can apply to another matrix under addition or subtraction that gives me the original result, okay, that does nothing. That's what the zero matrix is really there to do, okay? But other than that, it really doesn't come up a whole lot, okay? Uh, there's not many kind of other applications of interest that we can use. However, the identity matrix for multiplication, which we're going to look at in the next video, is a little bit more interesting.